New at midday, a group of bipartisan senators on the Hill have unveiled the legislative text for the infrastructure package. ABC's Ike Janchi explains how soon this new piece of legislation could be voted on. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says congratulations are in order. We haven't done a large bipartisan bill of this nature in a long time. After two long days of weekend sessions, a bipartisan group of Senate negotiators finalized an agreement for an infrastructure bill. The new price tag, $1.1 trillion with $550 billion in new spending, $110 billion earmarked for roads and bridges, $39 billion for public transit, and $65 billion to expand and broadband internet. Senators introduced the bill late Sunday with what appears to be a newfound appreciation for bipartisanship. We will continue to once again demonstrate to our country and to the world that we can indeed do our jobs, that we can legislate, that we can work together. No new taxes, core infrastructure only, and it's great for the American people. The full Senate will now begin working through amendments to the bill. The original group of Senate negotiators will be tasked with making sure 10 Republicans stay on board, a task West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin believes will be completed. And you think it will pass? I do. Oh, absolutely. I do. And you see Chuck Schumer and, and you see Mitch McConnell both voting for the same thing. It's unbelievable. The bill, however, will face more scrutiny once it gets to the House. Speaker Nancy Pelosi has already said she won't take up the infrastructure bill unless the Senate passes a budget reconciliation bill that includes President Biden's human infrastructure proposal that will likely cost around $3.5 trillion. President Biden noted that if the human infrastructure bill passes in the Senate, concessions and compromise will likely happen in the House. Ike Giacci, ABC News, Washington.